Hey guys, good day. This is Vignesh Krishnan from Lone Hawk Studios, and I'm back with another Blender tutorial. So uh, today we're gonna take a look at the wireframe modifier, which has been uh, recently added in Blender 2.70. Okay, so um, actually this wireframe modifier has been around for quite a while, but you can add that only in uh, edit mode in the uh, previous versions of Blender but now you can do that in uh, object mode in Blender 2.70 as well okay so let's get started um, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna delete the default lamp and the cube I'll just turn my screencast on okay so uh, how this works is pretty much simple okay it's just I uh, you know the same as adding any other modifier so what you need to do is that you need to uh, select your object and in this case it is gonna be a uh, UV sphere okay uh, yeah so uh, let's just say that I want to apply the wireframe modifier to my uh, UV sphere and to do that I need to select my sphere and then just jump into the uh, modifier section and then press add modifier and you can find wireframe present here uh, if you do not find this uh, wireframe uh, modifier here it means that you have a blender version earlier than 2.70 and you can get the latest version of blender from www.blender dot org slash download okay so uh, you just make sure you get that version okay now recording adding the modifier press add modifier and then select wireframe and voila you can see that we uh, have our uh, wireframe modifier applied and the uh, entire object is now just turned into wireframes and you can get you can see that you have various options uh, you know uh, regarding this you can change the thickness of that you can just or uh, I'm sorry you can just take change the thickness uh, or you can uh, change the crease weight okay uh, or you can also may uh, I mean okay another thing is if you want the original object and also the wireframe you just need to uncheck the replace original okay uh, you know the you, you can see that you have your uh, sphere as well as the wireframe you know this can be pretty useful if uh, you know if you're making uh, yeah I mean I, there are a lot of uh, you know possibilities with this let's just say that uh, you know you wanna just you know make uh, these as glass panes and then the uh, wireframe portion as the uh, you know uh, the how can I say the uh, frames of that glass and you can just make it look like a uh, um, I don't know okay I think you, just, you guys get an idea you can make these faces uh, as the uh, glass uh, panes and then these as the frames of that glass and you can make it look like a glass room or a doom of a building or whatever you want you just need to set the material here uh, the, here currently the material offset is uh, zero so if I set uh, okay which means that it will um, take the material which is in the zeroth position if I wanna uh, I now set the material of one I mean if I want to set the material which is in the f first position I need to set the material offset to one so uh, you know that's basically how it works I mean this gives pretty beautiful results you know there uh, the possibilities are endless a lot of people wanted this um, you know wireframe modifier and uh, the blender community listened to us and they gave this to us so thank you very much and uh, regarding uh, you know ideas uh, there's something which I made it's pretty simple but you know this is one of the images which I created using the wireframe modifier what I simply did was that I just added the wireframe to a UV sphere just like I did now and then I uh, added a icosphere to the scene I just uh, subdivided it further to get more uh, you know uh, vertices and then I added a wireframe for that I just scaled it up a bit placed it around the UV sphere 
and then just made duplicates, scattered it, scattered it around. I just added a light source and a depth of field effect. And finally, I got this image. I mean, this is some something very, very simple, but you know, it looks good, right? So, um, you know, I think I just gave you an idea of uh, how the wireframe modifier works in Blender 2.70. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. And if you, if you have any uh, views or suggestions, please leave that in the comment section. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this useful.